much does God love Uganda? How much does God love you? How much does God love your family? How much does God love your life? You have a reason to thank God. I've said you have a reason that you man thank God. Every one of us man thank God. Somebody clap your hands to the Lord. In this story as I finish. In this story. Jesus was met by ten lepers. You all know the story. But it's a very powerful story. They stood afar off. Because leprosy. Was like coronavirus. You don't meet people. You give social distance. So they stood off. And they shouted on the top of their voices. And said Jesus. Have mercy on us. We cannot come closer to you. Because of our disease. We must have social distance. But we are suffering. Be merciful unto us. And when Jesus had the voice. He spoke unto them. Just go. Show your priests. That you are healed. And the Bible says. As they were on their way. Just going to the priest. They looked at themselves. No more leprosy. And one of them. One of them. It is a very powerful song. Many choirs are singing across the world. In this story. One of them. Returned back. To Jesus. To say thank you. One of them. Returned. I was speaking broken English. Returned back. It is the same thing. One of them returned to thank God and say, Hey, Jesus, I am all. I've been suffering. I was separated from my family. I was in isolation. Ladies and gentlemen, isolation did not start yesterday. By coronavirus. Many people are in isolation for years. Thank God, coronavirus is merely 14 days. And in the United States, they have reduced those days to five days. But these people were isolated all the days of their lives. Unless if God healed them. So when he saw he was healed, ten of them, one of them returned. He came to thank God. Ladies and gentlemen, we must return to thank God. Yes, we have lost enough. But how much have you lost? People have lost. I know of a pastor in Miracle Center organization who got sick and looked for medication in Mlago Hospital. And all the beds were full. They could not fix him anywhere. So he went for a private hospital in Kamocha. Actually, Bukoto. Private hospital. He was put on oxygen for, I think, about 15, 19 days. And he passed away. But the medical bill was 120 million. And the patient is dead. And you must pay. I wish hospitals I wish they could, they could exempt us when a person dies. But they don't. You pay. They had to create a WhatsApp group. Rest in peace, someone. I don't want to mention his name. We began to collect money. And we reached half of it. This guy had a house and a land title. And they had to take a land title into the hospital to release the dead body. How much have you lost? 
Releasing a body requires a land title. Because that's all he had. Maybe he would have given in his wife. Oh, his children. Oh, his children. Maybe he would have given in his wife. Oh, his children. 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 Oh, children. Dad is dead. Tata food. You are now orphans. Your house is taken. And the land title surrendered. Loss. Kufirwa. We have lost. But how much? Our lives are still here. Our lives are still here. I must look for a day to thank God. My wife is alive. My first daughter is alive. My son is alive. My third child is alive. My fourth child is alive. My fifth child is alive. My sixth child is alive. My seventh child is alive. And all my six grandchildren. They are all intact. I must thank God. Hey, I must thank God. If I preach this message to the widow of Pastor Tsenfuma, how does she feel? She will feel different from what you are feeling. You have a reason to thank God. Beginning our Thanksgiving months. Pastor Fred Kanye has talked about offering a sacrifice. How much can you offer? How can we come? Let me finish with this. My best friend, I've been telling you over this, over and over. My best man, Pastor Richard Kaya, his brother, went to the hospital because of coronavirus. He spent there two months in 19 days. And the bill was 460 million. How much have we lost? People have lost life. They have lost families. They have lost their resources. Their businesses. Their incomes. Sincerely. We must thank God. I've said we must thank God. Anybody having a sacrifice, Pastor Vrikan, you have talked about? Come ready tomorrow. But I'll be there every day to lead you into thanksgiving. We must thank the Lord. We must present our thanksgiving. Leave alone these uh, things that we speak. No, you are good. No, we are good. Thank you so much. You. I'm not talking about that. I pray that I don't pray. But could you say come oxygen May you reach on that uh, stage of. I saw my mother on oxygen. Nalaba mama wange oxygen. Five days. I saw my mother. I was supposed to pay 25 million. Because, because I'm a great friend of Entebbe Hospital. Because I'm a great friend to them. I gave them the money. I started them the circle. I preached to them. The medical department said, Pastor Mutebi, I'm excluding your debt. Don't pay anything. 25 million. You are a great friend of ours. When you reach oxygen, you will begin to thank God who has been giving you oxygen for 58 years. Free of charge. The hospital is there. That hospital is called Case Clinic. You enter there in oxygen one day, five million. It is right there. Oxygen. 
intensive care. One day, five million. million Calculate my years. 58 times 5 million. million. If God was case clinic. 